불타오르네. So I like to dance from time to time. It's fun, brings me great joy, and you can burn on average eight calories per minute, which is quite efficient. But I'm by no means a professional dancer. I'm still learning the basics and improving upon my moves every day. That said, what I find difficult about dance is that it is subjective. A move could look amazingly alpha to some people, yet also look complete trash to others. Who's to say, really? So this begs the ultimate question: Is there a way to objectify dance? Yeah, nah, I don't know. Maybe. Lately, I've been reading into machine learning. In particular, there's an open source library called TensorFlow, which offers awesome tricks such as pose estimation. Now, pose estimation is basically the detection of a human figure in an image or video. So that got me thinking: What if I develop an app that analyzes and grades my dance videos? Let's say I have two videos. One video will be the guide video, which features the original dancer. The other video is the input video, which will be my dance cover to the guide video. The two videos will be of equal length, so that they can be divided into their constituent frames. On average, they're around 24 to 30 frames per second. The program will then compare each frame between the guide and input video, and using pose estimation, it will then produce a statistic between zero and one, or zero and a hundred percent. Based on how similar my moves are to that of the original dancer, sounds cool, right? That way, I'll know how good my dance skills are on an objective basis. Yeah, I know there's probably an app out there that already does this, but oh well, it'd still be cool if I could make my own version, and it'll be fun, right? One point four gigs. Oh, GG. No module name. Uh... So yeah, I basically went through error after error, search after search, until one day, oh that blissful day. Oh, oh shit! Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Okay, so installing TensorFlow was actually the easiest step. There was a harder challenge waiting for me: the actual dance algorithm. So I know what you're thinking right now, but Ray, how are you going to account for all these different variables? Good question, my little cabbages. Initially, I spent hours researching into data science, heat maps, advanced maths. What the fuck is that? Etc. There was a steep learning curve, and I was about to give up until wait, steep learning curve, steep, angle, slope, far gradient. Yes, after days of clueless researching, I finally found a simple, elegant solution. Not sure if this is legit, but here's how it works. So the gradient measures the slope between two points, rise over run. Here, notice how these two points have the same gradient as these two points, as well as these two points. Yet all of them are in different positions. The point is that a gradient need not be restricted to a particular coordinate. This makes the gradient a flexible measure. As you would have seen in previous scenes, the program draws and superimposes a skeleton on each frame. Each skeleton is made up of points, each of which represents a joint and has an x and y coordinate. This allows for two rules or assumptions. First, my dance will be considered similar to the original dance if the gradient between my joints is approximately equal to that of the original dancer. Otherwise, a significant difference in gradients would mean a deviation between my dance and the original dance. Gradients are powerful because they only focus on the slope between two body parts. It doesn't matter if I'm taller or shorter, or if the camera angle is higher or lower. The same move would have the same gradient between body parts. Gradients are also very easy to calculate, so my algorithm ended up being very simple. Essentially, for every frame, I just had to calculate the gradients between every joint on the skeleton, and then find the percentage difference between my gradients and the original dancer's gradients. The smaller the difference, the better, and the score links to a particular performance band. To be honest, I'm not expecting that much.、Um, I doubt my graphics driver can handle two videos and machine learning at the same time. But、oh, well, let's just run.
Oh, okay, sweet. So these this is the these are the calculations. So right now the program's calculating the gradient of each frame. Ooh, oh, calm down, calm down. Oh, what was this? Oh, bro, it worked. It worked. Oh, oh shit. Your moves are solid. I can see that you have practiced a lot. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you. Oh, high five, man. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Right now, I'm really happy with the algorithm. But well, what will make this program even better is if it could return the specific frames or images of every move that significantly deviated from the moves of the original dancer. That way, I'll be able to tell what moves I have to work on and it will make this program an even better training tool. This is good. So now we, now the program has identified the frames where my moves were um not as well executed already from frame five my moves were poor so let's just check that okay so this folder contains all the frames of the guy dance we're looking at frame five so let's go at that and this folder contains all the frames of my dance cover so frame five let's go. ah okay so yeah you can see how in the original dance the um the left arm is supposed to be at this level but here, yeah, my left arm is up there, so you can see that's a completely different gradient. Like, wow, I'm actually quite impressed that the computer actually picked up particular weaknesses. Okay, and my score is 63.63%. .63%. Looks cool bro, keep it up, perhaps more attention to detail. Man, nah, that's quite savage, okay. Um, let's look at my weaknesses. Okay, let's just check um, frame 26. Uh, okay, I was a bit too slow with this move. At this point, my arms should have retracted. But yeah, this is, this is great, I can work on my weaknesses, yeah. So yeah, that's all for this video. This was by far one of the coolest projects I've ever worked on. Not only did I learn tons about machine learning, I also got to combine tech and dance together, which before I never thought was possible. As to my next steps, I'm planning to expand my script so that it can analyze multiple dances in a frame, as well as build a graphical user interface. But until then, thank you for watching and see you next time.